Hey guys, it's Jules with Stop Drop Disney, and today was the release of the Cruella and the Camping Lines for the Disney New Emos. So if you're interested in hearing more about that, please keep watching. And if you love the Disney New Emos as much as I do, subscribe for weekly updates and news. So from the Cruella line, I only got this one outfit. And from the Camping Line, I only got this one outfit, and there were only two outfits to choose from for that. But I also did get the sleeping bags. For those of you that don't have the sleeping bags released in your area, I'm going to do those at the very end of this video so that if you're not interested in watching that you don't have to um, but I will be reviewing those today as well. So first taking a look at the Cruella look that I got. Uh, as some of you may know I purchased the Cruella jacket cosplay jacket from uh, Shop Disney a while back and I intend to do a cosplay side by side with my Disney New Emos with her Cruella jacket so I was really very excited for this to release. I absolutely loved the movie and that only made me more excited to do it. So for this look I'm very pleased that they gave a really big bow because for others who like me have not modified their mini and they still have the regular bow behind it, it is going to hide it pretty well. So I appreciate that they did a nice big bow for that. And there are two little areas where they have extra strings sticking out here. So I'm gonna take a small pair of scissors and cut that off. But otherwise, I think the bow is really well finished and um, will be easy to clean if you get anything on it, if you just wanna wipe off. Um, Cause they had like some, some like dust on it and I just give it a simple wipe and it's really nice because it's not that like cotton fabric so it's really easy if there's any kind of dust or anything on it to to clean it off because i know white fabrics are always a concern for me and for anyone that has kids they're probably a concern because they will show dirt a little bit more than some of the other fabrics but this bow is really easy to clean so the bow starting from the top it is one of those velcro backs to it so it's not elastic i know some people would prefer if they were elastic i think elastic bands are really nice and convenient to take on and off for the bows that i have from other designers outside of shop disney but it does sit well on minnie's head and so it's fine that it's just a Velcro, although I do definitely think that elastic would be easier. Um, then moving on to her jacket, it has button details in the center. It is Velcro in the center. And I was wondering if it was a full dress underneath. It's actually just a skirt, but I like that because the skirt you can pair with a bunch of different tops that you may already have. So I don't mind that it's a skirt. I think it's kind of cute. And what they came out for um, adults to wear is also a skirt. So if you were doing a full cosplay look with what they have on Shop Disney, the skirt that they have isn't exactly like this, but it's still a checkered skirt and would match well. It has a nice collar that you can lay down. Mine's kind of sticking up a little bit, um, as you can see. So I'll probably like try to press that down a little bit so it sits a little bit nicer. Um, it does not have pockets on the front, like or any pocket details like the adult jacket does. But it has a nice stitching at like the waist area, which gives it some shape. And then the button details are also just nicely stitched, but it's really hard to see on the video because of the reflectiveness of this jacket. The shoulders are also that checkered design and they come up as like high shoulder details, just like the jacket she wears in the movie and the jacket that they have on Shop Disney for adults. Um, it almost covers her hands, which I was kind of surprised. I thought, um, I guess I didn't look closely enough at the picture, but it comes really far down on her hands. And if you wanted it to, it could probably fully cover them. But of course, I don't think too many people would want that. But it's a nice jacket. And just like you could pair the skirt with other things, you could pair the jacket with other dresses underneath. Really easy to get on and off. 
The tag's a bit long in the back, so I will probably be removing the tag because it does stick down a little bit further than the bottom of the jacket. But it's a nice quality jacket. I really like it. I think it will pair nicely with a lot of things. It's not really a spring summer look, but for fall, I think this is an ideal, very cool punk look. And that's her just in the skirt. The skirt is also Velcro down the back. So it's not stretchy or elastic at the waist. And it sort of has an unfinished bottom look to it. But it's just, they have done the checkered squares with like a soft like material in between. And since they ended on one of the, <clears throat> like the soft strings are sort of hanging down from each section. And then here's the bow off of it. So I'm definitely gonna try this look on other characters too, but it just looks so good on Minnie that that's what I did. And I guess I could have made this the front of the bow and then those strings I was talking about wouldn't show. So you have that option as well. So that's the Cruella look. What do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments below. And then this is the camping look. So I really like this jacket. It's a nice pink color. Um, it's a very vibrant pink and I just think it's fun and kind of gives it a more spring summery look than if they had gone with a darker color. It also matches really well with the bag, which has the look of a drawstring bag. It's actually elastic at the top, so you can pull it open a little bit to get things in and out of it. Let's look at the bag first because that's sort of the first layer to take off. So it's a nice big bag um, that will hold more than the previous like little black backpack that had come out and with the first line of clothing, but not as much as like the lounge fly bags. But it's a fun like camp out summer bag. So I think they've done a really nice job with the look of it. And I love the different colors that they've included with the orange straps. Orange, green, light purple, this pink pretty much exactly matches the jacket and then like the dark blue and this light pink at the front so very very cute accessory i think this will get a lot of use and will pair with so many different things because there's a bunch of different colors in there the jacket i like because it has a really big hood so it's gonna fit nicely on all of your characters and if you want you can like tug it down a little bit for like a closer fit it doesn't have drawstrings but you know it sits nicely without them so I think that's fine and then the zipper was coming up a little bit on his face so I just pulled it down a little bit in the front but it does kind of come high up on your character's neck so here's the hood pulled back it has a nice dark gray lining and then the zipper is very easy to do in the front. And this look did not come with a shirt underneath the jacket. It was all about the jacket. So the gray does not continue down through the, the back of the jacket. It's just in the lining of the hood. So it's sort of a thin jacket. Um, and it is called a windbreaker, so that does make sense. Again, the tag comes down a little bit far, so you're probably going to want to remove the tag. But you can kind of tuck it up on this type of thing, too, if you want to, if you don't want to remove the tags. And then the shorts I really like. So they came out with elastic shorts with the past release, those like green ones that came out with the rash guard look. And I like those a lot because they're really easy to take on and off. And it's the same thing with these. They have an elastic waist. 
so they're really easy to take on and off your character. But what's nice about these is the detail's a little bit different. They are actually rolled up at the bottoms, and I wonder, can you unroll them? No, you can't unroll them um, unless you like undo the stitching, but they look really cute rolled up. So they're gonna pair with any shirt you want to pair them with, which is a nice, touch and they've already come out with a lot of in the past looks they came out with a lot of just plain t-shirts so i think that's probably why they didn't just add a plain t-shirt to this look because they already have a white a gray a black um plain t-shirt but yeah it would have been nice if they added a t-shirt as well so that is the camping look and then last but not least are the sleeping bags so the sleeping bags, to my knowledge, only released in the US, and that's unfortunate because I know a lot of people want them, um, but hopefully maybe they'll release late at a later date, or you can just buy them from somebody that's reselling them. So what's cool about the sleeping bags is they have this nice lining all the way through so they come in a set of two they have this gray color and then the orange color and i had tigger in this to kind of show that even the tallest i think he's the tallest new emos can fit nicely inside the sleeping bag right now they have it stitched down so that it always stays open like this i will be leaving mine like that but if you wanted to remove the stitch i don't think it'll be a problem um you're probably, get, it's just because of this like satiny material they have on the outside, you may notice where you, you know, took the stitch out. But they also put, um, they attached it to the back piece, this thing, well, the black one, but they attached it to that like right through the center of the bottom so I can actually see the hole where they attached it. And, you know, so I kind of wish they hadn't attached it in that way, but, it's all right, it's not a big detail. It's a tiny little hole that's on the front. But I think the same thing will happen if you decide to undo this so that it goes fully up. I'm just gonna leave it because I think it looks cute with it turned down and then you get to see your character a little bit more within it. I really like how they lined it the whole way. I think they could have done, they could have just been cheap and kind of started the lining from here up. And it's just so much nicer that they had it like, cause then it's comfortable. It seems like it's comfortable for your character. So I appreciate that. And I think they did a nice job on these. Here's Piglet in the sleeping bag. Definitely a very fall look with this orange plaid. There's a close up for you guys, but I think they'll be cute with all the different new emos. And I'm hoping that they still do release the tent. So if, I don't know how many of you may have noticed, but originally when they put the picture out with uh, the camping release for this month, they had the tent in the background. And then they put a new photo up that I saw today that did not have the, the tent in the background. So I think they were probably originally planning to release the tent and then had some kind of shipping distribution issue and that's why it's not released yet. But I'm wondering if they'll do something similar to what they did last month where with the umbrella and the chair, they said it was coming at a later date. So I'll be looking for that today to see if that is the case. But um, I really hope they do still release it. I know people have done a great job with DIY tents. And so that's always a great option. And in some ways, I think it looks way better than the Disney New Emos one. But I still want the Disney New Emos one. So I'm hoping they release it. And I'm hoping they release Goofy this month. It's kind of sad. It's, I feel like it's been a little while since they've released a character. And... I have not yet purchased um, characters to ship internationally. I know there's some great options for that. I know even eBay has characters not at terrible prices. So I might do that because I would like to add another character the, to my collection. Um, but I was really hoping that they would release a character. And they have so many characters that are already released in Japan and other places. So it would be great if they could release some this month. In fact, I thought Alice would have been a great choice for June, but you know. 
we'll see. We'll see what comes. I'll just be excited when it does come. <laughs> But I hope you guys are having a great week and let me know what you got from the new collection if you got anything. I know a lot of people have been skipping the past few collections. Um, and if you liked any of the looks I showed you today or if you had other thoughts on them, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks guys. I hope you have a great week.